what subsequently became known as the Battle of Trafalgar Square, the London poll tax riots of March 1990, was one of the turning points of modern British politics. Margaret Thatcher, Prime Minister since 1979, was heavily criticised by people both inside and outside the Conservative Party for her refusal to move from a chosen path that had previously been a strength of hers. And I was reading a, an encyclopedia account of this the other day because this is now seen as a historic event and it was described in this way. On the day it's thought approaching 200,000 marched, misjudgments regarding handling the crowds were made, exits from the square were blocked preventing dispersal. Allegedly heavy-handed arrests were carried out. Police vans, it's claimed, were used to force their way into the crowd. The point at which things did get out of hand was near Downing Street. Protesters staged a sit-in. Police feared an attack on the sanctity of number 10. And at about 4 p.m. unrest changed to violence that lasted until about 3 a.m. the following morning. Symbols of conspicuous wealth, such as high-value cars, were attacked. Some shops in the West End were looted. Police officers were pelted with bricks and scaffolding from building works in the area, and it's suggested that at one point, though no gunshots were heard, the police were considering using armed response units. Such was the scale of violence, most evident from the pall of smoke over Trafalgar Square. Tube stations in the epicentre of the unrest were closed, as were pubs, restaurants, and the capital as an entity was affected. Almost 500 demonstrators were charged, though the cases against many collapsed rather too easily for the comfort of the government, who suggested that it was not simply a case of a few thousand unprovoked anarchists running amok. The riots were the worst seen in London in the entirety of the 20th century. In the 1381 poll tax rebellion, the government of the day solved the problem by killing Watt Tyler, the head of the rebels. Not available to them in 1990, of course. Nine months after these events, John Major became the Prime Minister, and he used his very first speech to Parliament to promise to replace the hated tax. Bringing this up to date, just last July, on the Saturday before the One Another installation commenced, the annual Gay Pride March, one million people thronged London. And I was delighted to see that it's now safe for a Conservative MP, Jeremy Hunt, to be present to address the crowd and to have fun, a shared sense of enjoyment in our common humanity. But it's been, and continues to be, a long struggle for gay men, lesbian women and transgendered individuals to have their rights. And this struggle will go on, and I'm sure will continue to be enacted in this space. Morning, John. Hi, Jane.